So in this video, we are going to learn the change of base rule and why it is so important in allowing us to use a calculator. Now, the change of base rule is this. Let's say that we have log base B of some number A. And I want to change it to the new base, C. Now, it does not make sense to say that this is equal to log base C of A. This does not make sense, and I can prove it to you. For example, log base 2 of 4 is not going to be equal to log base 3 of 4. These are two completely different problems. Changing the base does not literally mean change the base, especially if you want the values to be exactly the same, which is our purpose. So the correct change of base rule is if you want to be working with base C instead, yes, you would get log base C of A, but you're going to have to divide that by log base C of the old base B. These two have the same exact value, but the difference is you are now working with one, you are working with a new base instead of working with the old base B. Yes, you may be working with two logs, but at least they are of the new base instead. So let's do some practice problems here. Let's say that I have this logarithm of base two, and I want to change it to base five instead, meaning not literally changing this to base five, but meaning I want to work with this problem, but only in base five. So if I use the change of base rule, I would say that this is log base five of seven divided by log base five of two of the old base. Now this here, again, may look more complicated, but at least we're only working with base five, which is what we want it to do. And this here will have, notice the equal sign, this will have the same value as this problem here. Let's take, for example, this problem, the natural log of 32. I want to convert this so that I, so that I am only working with log base 4. So using the change of base rule, I would do log base 4 of 32 divided by log base 4 of E. Pause this video and take some time to convert this log into an equivalent value that only works with the new base. So pause this video and when you start, the answers will show up in five seconds. And there you have it. Here are the answers. Notice for this one, I was able to simplify it a little bit further because log base five of five is equal to one. So you should simplify if you can. It makes it look cleaner. So why is the change of base rule so valuable? Well, because with all scientific calculators, you will notice that the, log, the two log buttons, log and ln, these represent the common log and the natural log, respectively. Now, scientific calculators, unfortunately, mo most of them do not do or solve logs of any base. They only solve log problems of base 10 or base E. Therefore, the change of base rule is critical in order to solve any log problem that we want to solve if we were to change the base to base 10 or to base E. Let's take, for example, this log problem. Now, unfortunately, this problem we cannot solve um, just by looking at this. Remember, the solution to a logarithm is an exponent. So our question here is to figure out, what do I have to raise 5 to so that it is equal to 42? So the problem here is, well, 
there's no whole number that I know that can give me that answer because I know 5 squared is 25, which is less than 42, but 5 cubed would be 125, which is a little bit, which is a lot more higher than 42. Therefore, the solution to this, it does exist, but it's going to be some number that exists between 2 and 3 because exponent 2 is too small, but exponent 3 is too big. So it's going to have to be some exponent that's between 2 and 3. Now, that's very complicated to do. We would never really be able to solve this problem without a calculator. But again, our conundrum here is that how can we solve this problem if it's not in base 10 or base E, which are the only bases that we are allowed to use on a calculator? Well, that's what the change of base rule is there for. So it does not matter which base you change it to. You will get the same answer regardless. So if we wanted to change this to the common log, we would do here log 42 divided by log of the old base. This value here in a calculator is going to be the solution. You could also do, if you want to, ln 42 over ln 5 with the natural log. Both of these will give you the same exact answer. But here we use the change of base rule to change to base 10. Here we use the change of base rule to change to base E. But it doesn't matter because our calculator can do either of them. So here, just to prove we'll get the same thing, if I were to do 42 common log divided by 5 common log, I would get 2.322. Let's do it with the natural log. If I were to do 42 natural log divided by 5 natural log, I will get the same exact answer. And as predicted, that number is going to be, the answer was going to be some number between 2 and 3. And to prove your answer, if you maybe doubt that you did this correctly, just write this as an exponential equation. 5 raised to the 2.322. If you type this into the calculator, well, this here is technically an irrational number. We had to cut this off. So our final answer is technically an approximation. So this here, because the exponent is an approximation, our answer is not going to be exact, but we're going to get 41.999, which is very close to the final answer to the argument. It's almost identical. The only reason it's like this is because we rounded off the answer. So pause this video and take a few minutes to see if you can figure out how to solve these problems. Now, the first two, these are just to show you guys how you can use your calculator to solve these, because these here you can already just immediately plug into your calculator. The last two, however, are base three and base 21, which you cannot use on the calculator, so you will be forced to convert them to base 10 or base E so that you can use your calculator. So take a minute, take a few minutes, see if you can figure out how to solve these problems. When you turn the video back on, I will display the answers in five seconds. And there you have it. Here are the final answers. For the last two, I converted them to the common log, but if you chose to do the natural log instead, you would have set it up the same way, but with ln instead of log, you would have ended up with the same exact answers as well. So hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next one.